I'm Allison for Leading Edge Dog Show Academy, and we are here today to do the Poodle Puppy Trim. So we are doing it on a toy poodle, and this is the first puppy trim, North American puppy, not to be confused with second puppy. Um, so what do we do before we start the trim? Um, before, in other videos that I've done, I've said you have to clip the face, feet, and tail. And so that's a little bit misleading. And one of the reasons that I wanna say that is that it's not just fine to clip the face, feet, and tail. It's where are you clipping the face, feet, and tail and how you are doing it. So when we are clipping the tail, for example, um, we want to make sure that we are leaving enough to create a nice round ball on the tail. And how high up should the tail be trimmed? Well, imagine that your dog had rosettes in continental trim. The height of the rosette would be the highest that the base of the tail would be shaved up. As well, we don't want to just trim to the base of the tail, right to the bottom of the tail right here. We wanna go a little bit beyond that. So maybe almost the width of your baby finger beyond that because we want to show off the tail set, how it is set into the body. And as well, I like to create a little V that is shaved this way. And we're gonna take pictures of this for you. And the length of the V from the bottom of the tail to the tip of the V is the same length as from that same spot to where you have shaved the tail to begin this tail pom-pom. Now, again, when we're shaving the feet, all four feet are shaved the same way. We don't want to simply shave to the top of the toe, the arch of the toe. We don't wanna shave just to the, to the top of the toes, right where the toe crease is. We want to shave the entire foot. So if you take the stop pad and you shaved one baby finger above that, you're gonna continue that line all the way around the front of the foot so that the entire foot, um, that there's a line from above the backstop pad all the way around the foot. And that is where you have shaved the foot on all four feet. This is very important because otherwise, if you shaved your feet too high up, we've all seen that, that looks like flood pants on our poodles, but too low down drags your whole trim down. Now, one of the things that we have talked about a lot here in Poodle University is shaving this front neck piece. Now there's a couple things that I want to make sure are perfectly clear. One of them is it says in the poodle standard that they should be shaved from the corner of the eye to the top corner of the ear. Um, I don't shave them there. I shave them from the corner of the eye to about the middle of the ear, not the top corner, because then when I'm making a top knot and pulling this tight, my line now becomes corner of the eye, top corner of the ear. So this looks much better. It makes them look flatter cheeked, but also I am gaining so much more top knot. I'm gaining about half an inch of top knot on either side. So one inch of top knot, which on a little tiny toy poodle head, that is quite a bit of coat. So my dog automatically has more top knot for life than other poodles where you have shaved it too high up. Now this is a hard concept for people to get, but it is very, very important. The next part about shaving the front and the neck is shaving this line. So this line from the back corner of the ear down, this needs to be on a 45 degree angle. And why is that? Because that is mimicking the layback of the shoulder. And this is very important when we start setting up our trim. And I'm gonna mention this several times throughout the trim. Now, the last part that comes with shaving face, feet and tail is face, feet and tail and their little bellies. So obviously on a male, we're shaving around the penis and I shave like a good, you know, two blade lengths or well, I guess that's like one blade length uh, in front of that. And obviously this is for sanitary reasons. It's also to help your underline. Even a female poodle in every trim must have their bellies shaved shave it before you start trimming your dog and it is going to save you a lot of time and grief because so many people you're trimming an underline trimming an underline it never looks tight it never looks right and it's because you haven't shaved the belly previous to that so i hope that this clears up any con confusion around clipping the face feet and tail it should be face feet tail and belly and how we set those lines in 
Now, if you're worried about sending those lines in, you can set them in as you trim them. We might start changing some of his lines a little bit as we go through it. Um, the other thing for prep is that his nails are done. Um, I've been working slowly on plucking some of the hair out of his ears. And then of course, I have gone through him and I have line combed every single inch of him with my fine tooth combed and some bottoms up. So even though I picked him up and hugged him, I can easily get the coat back into shape. And if your puppy's coat is not blown dry straight, your puppy trim is not going to turn out. And what's worse, the next time you trim them and it is straight, your trim is going to look entirely different. Then the last thing I'm gonna say about preparation is that this is also a training session. Right? This is also me teaching him when he's on a table that he stands four square, that he keeps his tail up, that he keeps his head in the right place. As well with this jelly loop, um, it's here for safety, right? Oh, he's exhausted already. It's here for safety. It's here so that is, if there's a loud noise, Amazon comes to my door and rings the bell, whatever might happen, if he's shot off the table for any reason, he isn't going to break a leg or worse because he is attached to this loop. But I don't use it to train him um, to wear his hold his head. I do that by hand. So with all of those tips in mind, let's get ready to start the puppy trim. I like to start at either the front or the back. We're gonna start here with the front and make kind of the trim meet. Um, you might've noticed that I've put a stand-in stay in there just because He's a little untrained in doing this on video and training him might prove a little bit difficult. Um, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to make sure he's well combed. And then, like we said, this front piece needs to mimic the layback of his shoulder, right? So from withers to point of shoulder, that should be a 45 degree angle, which is why we've shaved the neck on this 45 degree angle. And then this line is the 45 degree, the return of the upper arm, right? So lay back of shoulder, return of upper arm, and then again from the pin bone to the hip bone and from the pin bone down to the stifle, that's another 45 degrees. This is how we get balanced angulation. Um, so these are some of the lines of when I think of trimming my puppy. So I'm going to pull all of this hair up. I'm basically gonna lay my straight scissors like on this line that I have clippered into that 45 degree angle. And I'm just going to move my scissors out. I'm not digging them down this way. I'm moving them out this way and taking off all of this hair. Then here is the top of his leg. I'm going to take this hair off and I'm gonna go all the way across the front of his body again in that 45 degree angle. So from a slightly different angle, you can see that this is a straight line. And then this is another straight line. And you can see how we're now we're defining the top of that front leg. And we're going just all the way across at this point so that when we get to the other side, we have a little bit of our work done for us. Then I like to pull this hair up and then I'm simply gonna blend these two lines together. Now I've switched to my curved shears. I'm using them the correct way. So by correct, I think every way is correct, but I just mean with the tips facing towards the dog. And I'm just gonna keep going over this and kind of blending those two straight lines together, combing in between. And just keep going over your work and defining that top of Front. So now we're just going to do the same on the other side. I'm just going to pull this up and now it's really important at this point that you are holding your dog's head straight, right? You don't want to be turning it this way or that way because obviously that's going to change your whole trim. So you're holding his head straight and I know that it looks like I kind of have a death grip but it's kind of just how I need to hold his head and keep it out of the way of the camera. So again it's that same thing. It's that straight across line in that 45 degree angle just keep cleaning it up near his neck and then we've kind of already done this right because we did that when we were doing the other side define the top of the leg now we're just going to take our curved shears and then blend these two areas together now right at the top here he has this little extra hair 
and we just want to keep blending it kind of you know I kind of just tuck the tips of these curved shears kind of in between his front legs just to kind of start defining that I like to keep as much hair off of my table as possible so I can kind of see what I'm doing always giving him just a slight mist with the bottoms up that just kind of helps hold the hair out when I comb it so that I can get that really pretty finish All right, so that is kind of the first cut that we do to start defining the front on his dog. I can tell you right now, this is probably a little bit long. It's probably adding a little bit more length to him than I want. But once we have the rest of him trimmed, we might come in and just make that a size smaller. Hi guys. Thanks for joining us for our latest Leading Edge Dog Show Academy tutorial. Don't forget to go to leadingedgedogshowacademy.com to see some of our premium content and webinars where we go in depth on grooming, training, and so much more. Of course, we would love for you to like and subscribe so you don't miss another video here on YouTube. And if there's something that you would like to see that you haven't yet seen on our YouTube channel, of course, just drop it in the comments below and we'd be more than happy to bring you that content. So once again, I'm Allison from Leading Edge Dog Show Academy and I really, really hope that you enjoyed today's tutorial.